Hey y'all, welcome to something a little different. Uh, if you've been around the channel before or hung out with me on a stream, you probably know that I am a huge fan of Genshin Impact as well as Honkai Star Rail and pretty much most Hoyo games. But with that being said, you don't have the ability to replay the story in Genshin whenever you'd like, typical of like a single player game. So I thought it would be fun to start a fresh account. This will be a more than likely free to play, not going to have anything super spectacular as far as like characters and builds go and stuff like that. This is just for story. I would love to go back through the early days of Genshin and replay a lot of the story. Uh, my original Genshin account is from literally day one of launch. Um, so. I haven't seen the main story and like the beginning of it and uh, Leeway's story and all that in a very, 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 very long time. So I thought I'd take you with me. And with that being said, let's look at the uh, the intro again. I do love the intro to this game. It it hits pretty hard and definitely sets you up for what's about to come throughout the course of this gigantic story. So what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Every time, every time, because I've definitely like taken a peek at this a few more times since launch, and oh, I just love this scene. Uh, we we are we are going Team Lumine, as always on this one, uh, and and that is that is forever your name, daughter. Okay. <laughs> girl and she's still <laughs> looking for her brother just like that and the... just like oh, that she the god took away my brother some kind of seal was cast upon me and i lost my power so whilst we used to cross world after world we are now trapped here how many years ago was it i don't know but I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon <laughs> will do her best to be a great guy. Thanks, Paimon. I'm also big team Paimon, in case anybody's we curious. We should head off. Let's get going. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's day one. Day one in Genshin Impact. How is this gonna feel? Does she have... Oh no, girl, what are you... Have? Wait, I've never actually seen... Because uh, I didn't know any better uh, back in the day to like check this out. So I didn't realize that you have a gray background. Like kind of like a, a void, a nothing. Because you have no like resonance yet. That's actually really cool. Oh my gosh. Girl, how are you feeling? It's day one. Tell us, uh, Lumine. Uh, that's how you're feeling? Uh, okay, that's how she's feeling. Um, and then... This is it. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's nothing. No spiral 
Battle Abyss, no name cards to show off. Oh my gosh. Use the scroll wheel to adjust the camera. Okay. I still remember how to fight. I'm gonna take my first crab. Okay. And B to open up the inventory. Good. Is Paimon waiting for me over there? Yeah. You see an impatient Paimon off in the distance? The most hilarious thing you've ever seen. Okay, Paimon. <gasps> Slime! Can you come back? I don't want to, like, fight you in the water. It kind of is redundant. Slime! I need slime! <laughs> Give me the slime. Literally on my main account, all of my characters right now need slime for one thing or another. So, like, I just, I need it all. Okay. And this. Yes. I'm also terrible at reading tutorials, but luckily this is the beginning of the game and I should know all of this by now. So, hopefully... Oh my gosh. I forgot. So, how much of this... this so, they don't let you see. Or do they? Like... Eh? I think that this is supposed to be just monster. Like, the map is huge. So, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, this don't run into a whopper flower just yet also can i start pre-gathering this stuff you can <laughs> important messages yes give me the primos is that like four or five okay wait there were still more okay yes 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 wait it's going through every type of tree that that was literally no, nah, don't say that was only one. Oh yo. Please, that was way more than one. It was like twelve. <laughs> it was only like one thing. But we are definitely going teapot central. Um this. Like I, I love the teapot. I don't even care. It's so much fun. Okay. The path ends here. Guess we'll just have to climb. You can't climb, Paimon. Climbing depletes stamina, and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Does it? Well, okay, time. let's take the route we planned. We had a planned route. We're off to a statue of the seven. Tell me about the seven, Which Paimon. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? Okay, so she has no lines there. Whatever... S well, I know which seven we're about to... Which of the seven we're about to run across, but... Tell me more. This is so cool. It's so weird that like it's so empty. All of it. Oh wow. Monster. Look at it. It's home. It is. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the seven's protection over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. I will say. I did not realize how tame Paimon was As on day one. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Who is this Paimon? Who is this subdued, quiet Paimon? Paimon. <gasps> Our first chest. No. No, no, no. Paimon, hold on. Stay there. Paimon, don't do anything. I have, like, no stamina. Oh, gosh. I'll keep this close. Coming, Paimon. But it's free stuff, girl. Do you really? Oh, no. Drunk sealies. Paimon, I gotta know. You can swim right over. Can I float instead? Please? I want to learn to float like you. What do you mean? Just casually swimming over.
Is this the most dramatic of all the statue scenes? I think so. Okay, so now do we have the rest of the map? Kinda, okay. So now you can definitely start to see more. Ooh, did you just feel the elements of the world? Kinda. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh, I think I know why. It's because... Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. Exactly. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Do you, Paimon? No! Not this Paimon! Okay. Wait. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, for, for a very, very long time, I mained Animo Traveler. I still am a Traveler main on my main account, I would say, for the most part. Um, I love Traveler, so, getting back These to using- These are the Animo powers you got from the Statue of the Seven! Is it? Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Because you're Paimon, Paimon. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, having an excuse to use, uh, Animar Traveler again has been fun. Okay, right, so then this, alt, so you can click stuff. I just want to make sure the tutorial is happy with me. What, girl, what level sword are you using right now? She has a one-star sword. This is, this is everything and more. What do you mean with a one-star sword? <laughs> I forget what sword we get first. Like, I don't know if it's just going to be whatever I pull out of the, like, the first freebie 10 pull. Or not, it's not like a freebie 10 pull. Um, wait, I have mail? Wait, how did I? We still get, wait, we still get this? I didn't, re I didn't realize that, like, we got all this stuff still. I was kind of convinced I wasn't going to get the, uh, the, like, early days fresh wings but that's actually kind of cool because like i remember getting them day one but that had made sense back then um bro i gotta complete that okay level up. i'm so happy they added this auto feature done can i up your talents yet i don't have anything this feature that they added in the required to upgrade i think that was like last patch or two patches ago was like kind of the nicest thing they ever added um, I'm not leveling up the sword. There is no way I'm, I'm leveling up the dull blade. Girl, I love you, but that thing's staying unleveled. Forever. Alright, I got a level 13 Lumine. Wait. Why do you have no health? <sighs> Let's just go back to... Oh, no. I forgot how little stamina we have. Is she gonna drown? Okay, no. We're good. Uh, do I have to change it? To the auto heal on here. Um, statue blessing. All right, it's time to meet Amber now. I forgot. Amber. Amber's the first one we get to meet. I think we get like Amber, Kaya, Lisa right away, so that'll be fun. Oh no. Am I too. Am, am I about to do stupid. <gasps> The coolest dragon, Devon. There's something huge in the sky. It's headed towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. Paimon, we've never proceeded anywhere with caution a day in our life. We're not going to start now. But I just see all these free primos everywhere. Okay. I think this is where... Has anybody ever really walked down this path after um playing the intro of the game and unlocking all the fast travel points? Because I sure as hell. <laughs> Cabin, but it's so pretty. I forgot how pretty this was. Huh? Look at that! 
Look at what? <sighs> There's our favorite drunk bard. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Nobody! <laughs> that was close. Paimon almost got blown away. Almost. Luckily, Paimon managed to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. Good thing you didn't pull my hair out, though. Just what was that? I don't know. Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. We might have. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Is talking to a dragon normal? <sighs> of course not. Well, I didn't oh, know. What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Okay. Let's go take a closer look. Okay. Yeah, this Be Pai careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. This Paimon is so chill comparatively to my current. I got a pole? Why did I get a pole? Wait. Okay. Crimson Crystal. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here, y'all. Um, but first, you see these? I don't think I really use them anymore, but I'm taking them, taking them with me. Actually, I feel like back in the day, the um, battle pass for this game, um, one of the things that used to be able to do before we got all the extra content later on was, I think it was like, get like 50 of like a particular zone so either leeway or mon stats um stuff like what is it like specialty stuff so like the, i think the lamp grass was one of them um so like now i just have a habit of picking them up even though it's not it hasn't been a battle pass thing in a very long time these or calla lilies one maybe i don't think the calla lilies were but i think there was like another flower that was and it's just kind of crazy to think like how far so much of that stuff has come over the years <gasps> no! Yeah, this does absolutely nothing! Wait, really? Okay. Is that slime? Hello, slime. Give me this. I'll keep this close. You keep it close, girlfriend. Wait. Eh? What do you got for me? Okay. And see. Oh, wait, I got my first artifact. No, what is this? You don't want me to equip this. Increase is incoming healing my <laughs> And it's got flat defense. What does this say about our life, Lumine? <laughs> the first, the first artifact you pick up has flat defense. Girl, we're fudged. We're so fudged. It's not even funny. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was. Uh, all right, we got nothing else. That was. That was everything and more. I didn't. I didn't know how much I wanted to see you get flat defense for your first official artifact. Uh, this is Amber now? Hey, you! Stop huh? right there! Me? May the Animo God protect you, stranger. You too. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. I'm Lumine. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. It's not. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? We're friends. I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but we've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Yes. Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. Okay. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? 
I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Why so suspicious? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Right? Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? A little bit. A little bit. Outrider Amber, reporting for duty. Just say the... Okay. Uh, right. So that's how they want me to learn how to do... Eh? No? Or again, tags it. So, suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? Nothing. She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon! Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. She's so... What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. She's like so nice. Uh, weapons. Switch. Two star. Oh, girl, you growing up in the world. Uh. No, I can't switch that for Amber yet. Uh. We'll get the fast travel point uh. while we're here. Uh. Okay. Well, let's get this. I have a problem. I have to pick up everything. I do like that this game is like, oh, you want to be a loot goblin? Uh, have fun. A heli Quick, get it! Get it? Okay. Go, go, bear it! Windblade! No, hunt. Go, get. Bear it, bunny! Explode! Thank you. <laughs> These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. Have they? My task this time is to clear out their camp. <sighs> Knowing what I know about the hilly trails now, which hopefully we will get to, like the chasm has a lot of hilly trail lore and that storyline probably is one of my favorites at this point. Um, and like whenever people are like these monsters and I'm like, but, but poor hilly trails. Uh, this. Amber, do your job! <laughs> I'm gonna go back here. Mm. Windblade! That did absolutely nothing. That did something. Thank you. No, you. Mm. When was the last time I used Amber? It's been a very long time. <sighs> nothing to it. Though, I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? It felt great. It barely broke a sweat. Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Okay. Thanks. But not before I get my carrots. A reward on the road. Yeah, reward on the road. Another artifact. That is probably awful, but we're gonna use it. Did I just get level up? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Girl, you're almost to a 20. Ish. Okay, we got, did I get another feather? That's a one star. I forgot about this. Okay. Hey, Amber, you want a one star flower? Or not flower, feather. I do not want to enhance that. Take that. Thank you. 
Okay. Should I have used those three level up mounts for Amber? Arguably, yes. Boy. Yeah. I don't know how long we're going to use her for, so this this is fine. Is this like the first side quest I can do? Hi. That? It smells so good. It does. Lynn, an adventurer. Never go adventuring on an empty what? what should I cook next? Oh, food. Are you travelers from around here as well? Yes. Yes, we no, are. We just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. I love cooking too. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Okay. I love it that Paimon like continually brags about our um cooking skills. So like everybody. Like in Inazuma, I feel like she um bragged a whole bunch too. Okay, let's do it. Cook manually. Doo -doo -doo. Boom. Done. Can we do, like, the famous one yet? Yes. Okay. This? I think I still make this to this day. It, like, will keep you alive forever. Here you go. Is it done? Yep. Mmm. Smells good. Nothing but the best one I'm cooking. Let me try. Mmm. <sighs> oh. Mm. Oh. God. Hmm. Uh, uh-oh. Don't say uh-oh. Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Thank you. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. There's my Paimon. There she is. I was wondering when my Paimon would show her head. There she is, the one that doesn't like to share food or anything like that. Whew! Thought Paimon had been Paimon body snatched or something like that in the beginning. There, she was just so calm. 